A local surf legend passed away after a surfing accident in Florida. And tonight we take a closer look at the man who helped put Rhode Island surfing on the map. Susie Steimel is in the newsroom with more on this tragedy. Susie. Good evening, Jean and Patrice. Joe McGovern fell while catching a wave in Florida on Sunday. He then went into a coma and passed away yesterday afternoon in the hospital. The surfing community is now reeling from this tragedy. I spoke with his friends who say this isn't just a loss for the Rhode Island surfing community, but for the world. It's quiet and somber inside the surf and skate shop in Narragansett Thursday. Employees and patrons are trickling in to sit and talk about the man whose photographs line this store. He took everyone's picture. He made everyone happy. He was always stoked every day of his life. Joe McGovern died from a surfing accident in Florida. McGovern is a local surfing legend, but he's best known for his work on land. McGovern's photographs helped put New England on the map as a place to catch great waves. Nobody captured Rhode Island like Joe McGovern. Trisha Panagiotis, or Pan for short, is the daughter of another surfing star. Most know him as Peter Pan. Peter and Joe were two of the first people to surf in Rhode Island back in the 60s. Trisha says without Joe, her father never would have been the famous surfer he is today. Part of any good surfer is their photographer. Because if they don't have somebody to catch, capture what they're doing and who they are, then they have nothing. And Joe captured my father. He captured him every day. The surfing community is taking some solace in how Joe died, catching one last ride on Paradise Beach in Florida. I know that Joe is stoked to say, well, at least I got one more, you know, or I died doing what I loved. And we're all proud of him for that. We're just really going to miss him. Joe's family is having him cremated and they will return to Rhode Island next week. Susie Steimel, NBC 10 News.